Howdy howdy guys, we've been road tripping up from Sydney and now we're in the Sunshine State and it is beautiful. So excited to be out here, we've been road tripping. We've seen some cool waterfalls, some awesome beaches. And done a bit of diving along the way. I'm literally getting tired. Oh, that's no slapping, sorry. <laughs> Holy shit! But now we're here and I am like a frog in a sock. I am so pumped. We're, we're, we're staying on this island at the moment and we're heading out to the island behind me. And that is a big mountainous island. And I've been out there once before, but I'm so keen to get back out there. So let's send it that way to that island and see what it brings us. Excited? I'm very excited, actually. Let's do it. Okay, we are over here at the island. It is beautiful. There are 15 sunken wrecks behind me that we are so keen to check out. I feel like this is what this channel is about. Like, man, I don't have to live on the edge of the earth to see awesome things. You just got to get out there and find them. There's so many cool things around where I live and, and any, anywhere you can come and explore. You just got to go out and do it. And that's what we're doing now. And I'm so excited. And if you actually can't do it, if you can't get to water, then I'm so glad that you're able to see it through the, this lens and through my eyes. Uh, it's such a privilege to, to share it with uh, those people. So thanks for watching to those people. All right, we're going to jump in at, in these wrecks and apparently there's some fish around. It was just a guy who like saw the boat and knew the channel. He was like, hurry, came over, said hello. If you're that guy, then comment. And yeah, he was saying that there's a lot of fish in there. So we're really keen to jump in. I'll just get the drone up real quick and we'll just kind of show the, uh, the wreck because it looks like, you know, you could see it so much better from the air. And then after that, So much coral, I haven't seen that in years. Charlie is a bit uh, scared of swim throughs, getting caught and that kind of thing. So we're going to give one a go, a bit of a longer one a go, sorry. No, we're not. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not, she says. No, we're not. Actually, not we, I am first. I'm going to show her how it's done a little bit and then maybe she might uh, conjure the courage to, to give it a go. Part of it scares you. Uh, not being able to go in. Yeah. Uh, it's dark. It's dark. And I get. I'm not claustrophobic, but it makes me feel claustrophobic. Underwater, that yeah. That freaks me out. Claustrophobic. Yeah, underwater. And also getting caught, which you got to be. Yeah. Uh, careful. That's why we carry knives. So cut ourselves free if anything like that happens. Okay. We're gonna give it a go. Charlie's gonna do it. She's a bit scared. We're gonna go together. How'd you go? I 
<laughs> Very good. I like to scratch this on the ground. Oh. But that's about it. Other than that, pretty good. And what happened? Um, we had the time. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think I freaked out in the beginning. I'm glad you went first. Yeah, okay. I like freaked out a little bit when I couldn't see anything. Well, yes, then it was up a bit. Yeah. I feel like if I wasn't in front of you, you would have been able to see. Yeah. Because I can see. Yeah. Um, but yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, no fear to follow me. Yeah. <laughs> cool that we're diving through the structure of his ship like you just wonder what exactly this was back in the day before it was sunk let's dive through the structure <laughs> Into a peanut butter catch and cook straight from the loaf, fresh peanut butter. Only way to do it. Oh, oh, oh my god, that's another hub. Okay, that was really cool. Basically, what the plan is now, we've checked out that reef. Now, we're gonna go out check out some uh, spearing spots. Maybe we can catch some dinner or something like that. Uh, so, I'm keen to just check out what's around here. I've never dove around here. We'll see. The wind's come up a bit, but um, we'll just have to play it by ear, see if we can get in and uh, check out some fish. Okay, a little bit shown at this first spot. Let's jump in. Oh, there's a lot on the bottom. Can you yeah, see it? Yeah, good, eh? Yeah, I can see that. I was just on the deeper side and you can see it comes up here. Looks mad. Like 
this all to yourself pretty much. Nice. All right, next spot. Yeah, we've been sounding around. Talia's kind of scoping it. Okay. Thank you. Mark right here. So just press enter like four times. What? Why do things keep eating my fish? Okay, so I jumped in and that was wild. I firstly saw a big groper, like huge groper, over 100 kilos. And then all these trevally started swarming me, went over to one, shot like one of the bigger ones, and it took off like crazy on like like so hard. I was like, oh, I'll just let the fish go and I'll just jump in the boat and play it lightly because the other day I lost the, you know, wahoo from, from not playing it lightly. No! I lost it! So, playing it lightly and then I just feel these massive tugs on my line and, uh... Got him. Yes. <laughs> Whoa. What did you get? Big trevally. Okay, I've just shot a big trevally <laughs> <laughs> and I've jumped in the boat with Talia and I'm literally fighting him by the boat. Ooh, that's a bit hard of a pull, eh? I'm a bit worried about that. Nah, I reckon the groper got him. Shit. Hopefully I have still have a spear. Oh no! I should have pulled it in quicker. Damn it! Yeah, the whole spear gone, the spear's gone, and my fish. I think the Queensland groper came up and basically hammered my um, pretty big trevally. So yeah, why do things keep eating my fish? Sharks, gropers, <sighs> just let me eat them, come on. Anyway, um, it's been a cool day. We're gonna head back now from the island, and uh, we got that parrot fish. Like I, <laughs> I kept saying to Tyler, just one more drop, one more drop, you know, like trying to, uh, look, at, look for other fish, but blue bar parrot fish, they're really nice to eat, so I'll be happy with that and um, should cook up well for us. So we'll head in and uh, eat that shortly. Wow, that is nice. Yeah, that's beautiful. And then why does it go dark? Deeper, I guess. The humble little parrot. <laughs> We're back now at the uh, ramp. We didn't really punch it out, you know, too far or anything to uh, anything crazy because it was just with Tyler. I wanted to keep it chill, so we just jumped in some humble little reefs. But tomorrow uh, we're going out with the boys and hunting for some bigger fish, so that should be fun. But for now, little parrots, all right. These have the hardest um, kind of scales. They're so hard to fill it. Really? Yeah. So I'm lucky that this knife is sharp. Yeah, I reckon. So that will go straight in the crab trap that. Yeah. yeah. I'm so excited that you're like keen to get more and stuff. Because I want to experiment with them. Yeah. While well, we have the opportunity. Yeah. Man, these fillets are so white and beautiful. I've, I've had blue bar uh, once or twice before and yeah, they're really nice. So I'm keen to have it again. But this time I think we're thinking uh, parrotfish pizza. It has a nice ring to it, doesn't it? All right, beautiful blue bar parrotfish on. You guys are about to get an uh, insight into the more our favorite uh, fish pizza recipe. What's going on? More on that soon. Okay, our little recipe that we're really loving at the moment for fish pizza is obviously tomato paste, avocado, cheese, cherry tomato, and then olives. Love it. And then of course, you got to fish pizza, so. Uh, fish. Now what we do is just cook it just before it's uh, completely finished. I'll just take it off a little bit before it's done, then on the pizza, then in the oven, and we'll be on our way to a merry good time. <laughs> we got this little spicy number. You're in it. No? No. Alright, shall we? Yeah. 
check this out. So nice looking. Mm-mm. Now, that's on the money right there. Such simple ingredients, only a few there, uh, but so good. Like we've tried and put so many different ingredients on a fish pizza before and just destroyed it. Um, but this is like a good selection in my opinion. That's unreal. And the blue bar parrot fish on that really holds together and it's quite juicy. It's, it's a really good one. Actually, probably I'd say the best fish I've had on for a pizza. Yeah, so good. Okay, I'm going to demolish the rest of this. I'm pretty tired too. It's been a big day, um, but it's been a good day. Man, some cool, cool scenes and got in for a bit of diving. That was cool. A bit interesting. I'm um, actually going out diving tomorrow with a few boys and we're heading out wider and chasing bigger fish and doing stuff like that. So if you like that, then do stay tuned. But regardless, if you like this, like, share, subscribe, all that stuff. Ring the bell if you want to see it right away. No doubt I'll see you in another venture in a hot minute.